Hello everyone, Wayne Motts from the National Civil War Museum and Licensed Guide at the Gettysburg National Military Park. I'm standing south of Gettysburg near the outlet malls today and the barn behind me belonged to farmer Aaron Sheely. Sheely was born in 1836, he died in 1914, and during the Battle of Gettysburg, he's the superintendent of Adams County Schools. Well, during the Battle of Gettysburg, the barn behind me and the farm was the headquarters of Marcina Patrick, the provost marshal military policeman for the Battle of Gettysburg. And the story that I'm going to tell you today, our captivating story for August, is about John V. Bouvier, a member of Marcina Patrick's staff. And he would have been stationed during the Battle of Gettysburg right over here behind me. Now, John V. Bouvier was born March 25th, 1843, and he enlisted in the service in 1861, and in 1862, he's an aide to Marcina Patrick in an infantry battle at the Battle of Bull Run. 158 years ago today, August 29, 1862, Bouvier is shot in the chest by a rifle bullet. He lays out on the Manassas battlefield. He gets care there, but he is captured by Confederate troops and then later exchanged. He's exchanged in time to come back and serve in the Battle of Gettysburg, and he's serving right here. Now, he survives this wound, but it's so bad that he has to leave the service in the fall of 1863. And later on, after the Civil War, he writes to the War Department and tries to get his pension. Now, normally I don't like to read in these videos, but I want to read you the quote that he writes in 1913 when he is 70 years old trying to apply for his pension. And here's what he says. I was merely fighting for my country and not carrying a sword in one hand and a pen in the other. But had I done so and devoted more time to the pen than the sword, I doubtless would have been able from my experience to conserve the axiom, the pen is mightier than the sword. To confirm the axiom, the pen is mightier than the sword. He's so frustrated with the War Department because he can't get his pension. And he finally gets that pension and he dies on January 2nd, 1926, when he is 82 years old as a stockbroker in New York City. Well, guess what? He's the great-grandfather of Jackie Kennedy, the former First Lady of the United States. So the great-grandfather, Jackie Kennedy, fights in the Battle of Gettysburg. And now you've heard our captivating story for August. I sure hope you enjoyed it, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks.